Okay, this video will use um, a spreadsheet program. In this case, I'm specifically using OpenOffice Calc to um, produce an XY scatter plot that will have a linear trend line and will display the equation of that line. Um, all I did is I create a simple spreadsheet so far that will display my percent sugar of my stock solutions that I used here. And in this case, my percent sugar range from 0 to 20. And uh, my other column displaying the density, appropriately labeled units, grams per cubic centimeter, and the densities, the measured densities of those stock solutions. You notice that right here, my one only has one significant figure. And if I wanted to provide more significant figures for that, I press Control-1 here to bring up Format Cells property. And if I want to format the number of decimal places, I can come down here and provide two decimal places. So now they all look a little bit nicer. They have the same number of significant figures. If you believe any of these should have an alternate number of significant figures, you can alter that as well. Um, for example, if I think that one should have more significant figures, I can add or take away decimal places as appropriate. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the data I want included in my graph, and I'll come up here and I'll click my chart button. And the type of chart that I want to select is an XY scatter. All right, and I don't want to connect it with any kind of a line at this point. Later, I will go through and I will insert a trend line. So I'll click Next, and I'll check on my different options. Uh, the data range is correct right now, so I'll keep going through here. And those options are fine, and then I can create a title. As with all graphs, I want to make sure that I include a number and a title at the top. So I can call this graph number one. And this is a calibration curve. And my x-axis is the percent sugar. And make sure we label that, that everybody knows is a percent mass mass. And my y-axis is the density. And once again, we need to include the units, grams per cubic centimeter. And as I finish this up, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I can take this graph now and make it larger or smaller as I need to so that it'll fill a page or at least display as much information as I need it to. Okay, so all my data points here. I will select one of them and all I did is I left clicked once on any of those data points. If I click off, you see just clicking once with my left mouse button selects all of them. And if I right click here, I want to insert a trend line. The trend line that I want is to be a linear trend line and I want to show the equation of that trend line. So I'll click OK and now you notice it does not smoothly connect all the points, it is linear. And up here it gives me the equation for that. One potential problem we see with this equation is that my m value for my slope only has one significant figure and my b value for my y-intercept only has three significant figures. If I am perhaps putting in a value, a density value, into this function that might have multiple significant figures, such as 5, which we hope to obtain 5 or 6 in our lab, then I can alter how many significant figures this will display. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll right click on there, and I want to format this trend line equation. And I'll format the number. And right now it's under category all, so I'll change that category to number and I'll change the number of decimal places. So I can give it as many decimal places as I want, choose six, seven, eight decimal places, and it will provide us with as many significant figures as I need. Um, I know that when I create this graph that I want to ensure that the values that I input will come out of this function with at least as many significant figures, well, the same number of significant figures as the input values. Okay, it's that easy. I have a nice looking graph here. It's appropriately titled and numbered. My x-axis and my y-axis are both labeled. Uh, I have a linear trend line. Hope this was helpful.